Hello students. Today I will discuss on Picard's existence and uniqueness theorem. Let us consider the first order initial value problem as y dash equals to f of x y under boundary conditions y of x zero equal to y zero. That is y equals to y zero when x equal to x zero. This is the equation number one. Here we are interested in the following questions. Number one. Under what conditions there exists a solution to one, and number two, under what conditions there exists a unique solution to one? An ODE may have no solution, unique solution, or infinitely many solutions. As for example, y dash square plus y square plus one equals to zero, under y zero equals to one has no solution. The ODE y dash equals to x. Y is equals to one has unique solution. That is y equals to one plus x square. Whereas the ODE x y dash equals to y minus one under boundary condition y is equals to one has infinitely many solutions. That is y equals to one plus alpha x. This is the linear form. That is dy dx equals to dy dx plus py equals to q. So this is the linear form. This can be solved by e to the power p dx. That is integrating factor. We get y equals to one plus alpha x, where alpha is any real number. Hence, um, from ODE, we know that there are three types of solution. Number one, no solution. Number two, unique solution, and number three, infinitely many solutions. Now I am discussing on theorem number one, that is existence theorem. What is existence theorem? Suppose that f of x y is continuous function in some region R defined by x y that yeah, x y such that mod of x minus x zero less equal to a mod of y minus y zero less equal to b. Here a b both are positive. Since f is continuous in a closed and bounded domain, it is necessarily bounded in R. That is, there exists a k greater than zero such that mod of f x y less equal to k since it is bounded for all x y belongs to r then initial value problem 1 has at least one solution has at least one solution y equal to y x defined in the interval mod of x minus x less equal to alpha where alpha is defined by minimum of a comma b by k it is very important term where alpha is minimum of a comma b by k this is existence theorem now i am discussing on theorem number 2 that is uniqueness theorem what is uniqueness theorem suppose that f and del f by del y are continuous function in r hence both the function f and its First order partial derivative that is del f by del y. Its first order partial derivative del f by del y are bounded in R. Both are bounded. If and its first order partial derivative with respect to y, both are bounded in R. That is f of x y mod of f of x y less equal to k and mod of del f by del y less equal to l for all x belongs to R. Then the initial value problem one, that is equation number one. This is the initial value problem one has at most one solution. Has at most one solution y equals to y x defined in the interval mod of x minus x zero less equal to alpha. Here alpha is defined by minimum of a comma b by k. Combining with existence theorem, the initial value problem one. Has unique solution. Here unique solution y equals to y x defined in the interval mod of x minus x zero less equal to alpha. So this is uniqueness theorem. From previous portion, we know what is existence theorem. Now I have discussed on uniqueness theorem. Here number one. Corollary. Uh, so, I am discussing 
on this type if f of xy satisfy the condition mod of del y by del y less equal to l for all values of x y in the given range then the same constant l in the Lipschitz condition is also satisfied now from the MVT that is mean value theorem of differential calculus we know f of x comma y2 minus f x comma y1 equals to y2 minus y1 del f divided by del y with y equals to y dash where y dash lies between y1 and y2 and also x comma y1 and x comma y2 are assumed in the given range from 2 and 3 we can write mod of x comma y2 minus f of x comma y1 less or equal to l modulus y2 minus y1 from 2 and 3 we can write equation number 4 which is Lipschitz constant that is l it follows that the Lipschitz condition 4 can be replaced by the stronger condition 2 it is very important remark now I am discussing an important theorem it is very important theorem on Picard existence and uniqueness theorem if s is in either a rectangle mod of x minus x0 less equal to h mod of y minus y0 less equal to k hk both are positive or a strip x minus x0 less equal to h mod y less than infinity here is also h is positive and if f of xy is a real fluid function defined on s such that del f by del y exists is continuous on s and del f by del y less equal to k for all xy belongs to s for a positive constant k then f of xy satisfied a, satisfies a Lipschitz condition on s with Lipschitz constant k this theorem is very important it's proof now mod of f of x comma y1 minus f of x comma y2 here condition is f of x comma y2 minus f of x comma y1 there is mod hence this term and this term can also be changed and this value is all equal equals to here mod of f of x comma y2 minus f of x comma y1 equals to y2 minus y1 of del f by del y this y2 minus y1 can be written as integration of y1 to y2 dy that is y2 minus y1 so y2 minus y1 can be written as this form and del f by del y this term remain unchanged by the modulus property integration of y1 to y2 del f del y mod into dy this term is equal to k and here integration of y1 to y2 mod of dy that is after Integrating this is equal to k into y2 minus y1 or y1 minus y2 because here mod is present for all x comma y1 and x comma y2 belongs to s. This shows that f of xy satisfies Lipschitz condition on s with Lipschitz constant k. So it is very important theorem. So I have discussed Picard's existence and uniqueness theorem. Uh, this is part one. I will also discuss on part two, part three, part four, etc. with many selected problems on this topic. Thanks for watching.